Hello, uh, welcome to Artist Live. My name is Jasmine and I will be your educator for today. And we are making a little ampersand or whatever it's called um, with a little photo using lots and lots of mixed media techniques and product. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I will just flip the camera around and I will show you the project that we are making and we'll get to work. Just bear with me. Okay. Oh, we are about good here. Okay. So this is the project. It isn't that really that big. It's just a small, small little decorative piece. Um, yeah, loads of mixed media, loads of the texture on it. And uh, you can buy these. I saw it on, uh, I saw them on Amazon, so you can get them. I don't think they're really that, that expensive. Maybe you have like uh, letters at home uh, because they were really uh, like a big hit here in Norway that you should have like letters and stuff for your house. So maybe you can alter some of those. So today we have um, the lovely Heather Thompson is, uh moderating our uh moderating today and will uh take will show you all the links and hopefully we are yes i can see that links are allowed and uh yeah so this is what it looks like it's just a brown piece that's this is how it looks like when i bought it you can get more um i have I have a little F because I have two kids that <laughs> has names starting with F. So I have a little C somewhere and I have a hashtag and well, yeah, here's the hashtag. I thought this was kind of cool. So I started to paint the, with the, I started to paint it. So we didn't have to spend all the time. Uh, watching paint dry because that's really is boring so I started so it's half painted and I used heavy gesso from Prima so we'll just continue with the painting so it's just to get a little coat everything will be covered but so it's this this top surface is quite slick so I think it's good to add some gesso to it so we're sure that the things we want to stick on it will stick. And I also painted the insides of uh, these little holes. So. so I hope everyone had a great break. Well, we had a little break from our shows. So I hope everyone had fun. Maybe you crafted. Maybe you had uh, had a good time. And Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope you all have a lovely family time or doing whatever. I know some people go to hotels, take a day out. So, yeah. So, there's more people joining us. Welcome, everyone. So if there's any questions, please feel free to ask and Heather will, if I don't see them, Heather, Heather will just uh, send me a message through Facebook and let me know if there's something you, you know, uh, want to, want to know, or if there's any questions. Um, I will also, uh, this video is of course recorded, so. You'll all could get to see it again if you need to. Okay, and just a little bit more paint here. Luckily, this dries quite quickly, so the drying time isn't that long. So I did paint some on the back just to nice it up a bit, but I didn't really do it on this. <laughs> But I did it on this. So 
So, okay. I think, yeah, I think we're done. So I'm just gonna dry it a bit. And my dryer is stuck. Yeah. Hmm. So I hope everyone has uh, has been creative over this weekend or this little uh, break of ours that you made something fun. So we're probably ready to go, I think. Okay. So my next step was to, I took a stencil on top with uh, modeling paint, which I have here. I used the uh, Prima's modeling paste, oops, like this. And I have to find the stencil. I don't have a big book of stencils. So let me see if I can find the good one. A 13 art stencil but you could use whatever stencil so you like uh, prima has some pretty good ones but i think this one is 13 art so oh let me get that so i use a um, palette knife to spread it on so where to Maybe like this. Some of these, this are going to be covered, but I like to just kind of cover on the whole my bases when I do this. So I, I just spread it wherever I think it's going to look good. And if I um, cover it, I'll cover it. But I know it's there myself. I know I did all the work. So let's just take this off. And I have a bucket with water today, so I just can oop, put it in. Hopefully. Okay. It's important when you use modeling paste to um to wash your stencils or else it's just gonna clog up and you can't use them anymore. I try to remove the paste that's sitting along the edges and I, I just spread it on top of the my piece like this. And I'm thinking this is just so the extra modeling paste on the edges just gives it an extra extra structure to the project like that and then we'll have to do a bit of drying again so are you guys talking about CHA so who how many of you are going to CHA Karen are you going Okay, so Heather is obviously going to CHA, and we, uh, all the other people get to see on the sideline all the good stuff, all the nice new products that's coming out. I love the new Finnebear things. 
I have to say I am a huge fan. So I probably are going to hoard a lot of her new stuff. The waxes just seem so much fun. I really, really do like the waxes that she's coming up with. Okay, so I just want to get this, well, kind of semi-dry. We're not going to get it all dry, but, well, dry enough for me to touch and maybe paint on top. see now oh just a little bit more okay okay I think we're quite good so the next step I did was I applied some texture paste and I just have to find the right one. Yeah. I used uh, white sand texture paste. This dries clearly, but leaves you with like white sand on your project. And it looks like they're kind of gritty, just really, 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 yeah, sandish in it, really gritty. So I used a brush, just a simple brush to apply it. So you see, it's kind of a thick, thick paste. It's great with stencils, great with everything. So I just painted some on. just to get that extra texture. So I'll, I'll be a little bit careful when painting on top of those, uh, uh, those modeling pastes we did, so I won't ruin them. Like that. So, like this. So this, like I said, this is awesome to use through a stencil. You would just be the left with the white sand structure through the stencil since it's, since this dries quite quite clearly. So. I'm not going to add too much on the bottom, just on the sides. Okay. I'm not sure if there's uh, maybe some on top here. thinking we are quite that's fine so then it's time for some more drying the drying part is quite boring <laughs> yeah it is it isn't isn't like it's like the size of my hand a little bit smaller so it's just a small project, but I think uh, it's kind of cool to have it on your, maybe on your, uh, like a shelf or in a, no, yeah, on your shelf or in a small window or I don't know, somewhere. I like the size of this project as well. And it doesn't take too long. And it's a great gift. What a cute gift to a, 
married just a newlywed or something just do it in like happy colors or maybe um yeah so i'm giving this away to one of uh to a couple we know and it's a perfect so i i thought like maybe the ampersand would could be, be like a symbol of you and me something like that So drying and drying. My kids are at home and I'm thinking the little one has issues today. Do not want to sleep. So, so if you hear some noises, it's just them. Almost, almost, so we can apply color. Okay, so now we need, I use, I need some towels and I've, I've just, just recently, found these little cool pigment inks called ice inks and they are I'm really in love with them I just got some extras some new ones today in the mail in the mail so I'm thinking about doing purples because I like purple and blue and green So the the inks are they are kind of um, oh they're pigment inks and they you can dilute them with water. I know you can put them in a mist bottle, and they have mica in them, so it's kind of glittery. And they are come in this kind of a drop teller thing. Hey Lydia. And, um, uh, yeah, so I just, I haven't tried this purple one since I got them just seconds before the show started, so I don't really know what they will be, but probably have to see which colors they will be, so I will just try them on something else. See, so this one has more red in it. This one is more blue. Which colors do I want? Okay. Um, I'm just going to add randomly color like this. And greens. Oh. And let me see what happens. So, how cool is this? Loving it. Gonna add some more purples. And we have to have some more purple up here as well. These are so cool. Just playing with the colors 
and I think we're going to try to see if we need to add some more. Aren't these cool? These are really, really cool. I love the way they blend and they make the project so nice. I'm gonna add some more here. Purple, maybe some more blue. So for my uh, the the original thing, this one. The, the colors I used was the this one and I also used iris oops here we are iris and I think I used uh, the just maybe I, th I think I used maybe the bamboo one and uh, which other colors did I use I think also I used the avocado one so I think that's the four I used. I may, may have had some touches of yellow in there. I don't really remember. That doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add some more colors on top here so we can get some on the sides. If the eye inks are similar to any other product, I I don't really know. I haven't seen anything like it. I uh, I I thought maybe okay, so are they like the distress inks? But no, they're not really like the distress inks because they are thicker. They're they're not as um um yeah, they're not just not as thick as as the the strict, just distress things no so I, don't have, I really didn't haven't seen anything i don't think so that's similar to them because you could you could put a couple of drops with this inside a mister and make your own mist i'm gonna add some of the bamboo as well just for fun because it's a nice green color I'm soon done, I think, with coloring. I don't know if anyone, other one has known, knows about any other products that's similar to this, to the ice inks. I know that someone needs to take these. If they, if you have eye things, take them down from your top shelf. I mean, start using them. It, they, those are really cool. They are vibrant and gives awesome color. So I'm, I'm happy with my results here. So I'm just gonna dry it up. So 
So I see that you are chatting all the to get these on Amazon. I didn't really know where to link you guys. So I took the European store that I knew that had it. And uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, it's soon done drying. really needs to be dry for my next step so I just have we have to just endure it just plow through the drying I'm going to add some color to the top here because that didn't really have any color. Yep. So now we are soon done with the drying, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to set this aside a bit and uh, show you my photo and stuff. So it's going to just hang tight there for a while. Okay, so I just need to clean my hands a bit. I used, uh, used a resin frame from Prima to uh, add my photo. And I, don't ha I didn't have the same one, so I took another one, which not a big deal it's just a resin frame okay so you will hear me now are we all good I hope so okay so here's my photo and I just I'm just gonna cut around it to get what I want. And I leave uh, space on the back side so I can glue. Yeah. So, and I, I'm thinking of having them here. And uh, but first, I need to do some more prepping on the top. So when I came this far, I um, I wanted to because now you really can't see the texture. So I added white gesso again. Just dry brushed it on top. Uh, I need a finer brush. Okay. 
and uh, just dry brushing a bit on top with some more gesso. Then you really can see the texture of your project coming out. You see? The texture. Okay. So I'll just keep um, dry brushing a bit, not too much, because I don't want the colors to go away. Just want the texture to show. Nope. A little bit too much paint there, but oh well. And I'm also going to add another coat on top, but I'm going to use the Viva Decor um, Inca Golds, the creamy, well, it's not, I don't know if those are waxes, but they kind of remind me of the the new uh, waxes from um, that Finna Bear is coming out with. I don't know if that's the same quality or if it's the same, but yeah. A little bit too much. I'll just take some away. Dry brushing. Yeah. And you kind of soften the colors so they're not that bright now. But it doesn't really, I, I kind of like it when you soften them up. And you have the chance to fix things that you may not like the first round. So, I'm thinking that's kind of good. Oh, hello, Torsa. Welcome. And... At this point, this is what we have, and I'm going to dry it. Well, it's not really that, well, the white gesso from Prima dries really quickly, so uh, it's just to make sure that it's dry. And then I use the Inca Gold. And this is the antique, no, old silver. And uh, it looks like this inside, which is kind of kind of looks like it's kind of looks like cream. And I just use my fingers. I take some of my fingers and I rub. And doesn't that look fun? So I just take some on my finger and I rub it on. Like this. And then all the awesome textures and details and everything just pops out. Can you see it? And it's shiny. Very, very shiny. It's very awesome. Like that. Okay, like this. I'm sticking this is going to be awesome. Soon done. Just using my fingers because it's really creamy and nice. Okay, I have to have something here as well. So we have everything covered. Okay. Do you see it? This is cool. Okay, a little bit more on top. Because I'm crazy. 
Yep, I'm liking this. This looks fantastic. Of course, you can you can sit and dab with this forever, but we don't. We have a little li limited time here on this show, so I need to get need to get it done. Okay, really happy with that. Looks good. I'm also going to do some on the frame. Hello, Yana. The show is recorded. So if you want to see the first half of the show, you can just do that on YouTube later. So it's not, it's never too late with us in Aria's Live. You can always watch the recording afterwards. So we're always happy to have people come out and watch. So adding, one, adding some to the resin frame just makes the the decorations on the frame pop more. Okay, so something like this. Okay, and now I need to find a wet wipe so I can So I can't touch my photo again. And I can clear these away. Okay. So while that is uh, drying a bit, I will do the photo. So, and some glue behind the phone uh, on the frame. Like that. And here's my photo. Oops. And there they are. Done. Okay, so, and uh, now it's time to embellish. Embellish. So I like to use old, this, uh, I go to flea markets, uh, antique shop, and I buy these really old uh, tablecloths, woolen, yeah, curtains that looks like the, this has been an old tablecloth, and I tear them up into usable pieces and I add them to my project. So we're gonna have something here. You can you could have used uh, like gel mediums, heavy body gel, whatever for this, but I just I'm gonna go with the beacon now since uh, I think it just glues everything in as faster. It depends on the project, what sort of glue I like to use. Uh, but this time I just, I'm just gonna stick with the, with the, the beacon glue, the three in one. Okay. Also have to have something here. I'm gonna cut off the axis here since I don't want to glue under well on the bottom because I don't I don't think it will stand very well when you don't when you glue on the, something underneath okay like that and yeah you could have some here if, if you want to so maybe I'll add something just for fun Like that. 
And if you hear the rumbling, it's not thunder. It's my son playing Nintendo. He gets so excited, he jumps up and down. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be here. I'll cover up most of it, so I'm going to move this one a bit. Like that. And, yeah, I'm going to have this piece here, I think. Yeah, maybe. Maybe here. Yeah. And um, I used different types of flowers. So I, have, I pulled out some flowers too. I also used... Um, these some of these are prima some of these are other flowers some of these are wild orchid and i also used a bit of uh, vintage paper on the background underneath the the frame i just curl it up, up a bit oops yes like it Gluing it on. Like that. Okay. Okay. Need to glue that together a bit like that okay and then i'll um the photo is going to be here and i found instead of this these wings i didn't i only had one set so i found a bird so i'm gonna put the bird there instead because i can add a star the stars are barn stars from Finnebird collection that came out in January. So I'm adding the bird. The birds are Tim Holtz. The bird and, and the wings. And I just wish it flew the other way around, but can't be choosy. Like that. And these are also Prima, like knobs. I don't know if you can see them. Small knobs. So adding that on top, like this. Yeah. I've also found some gears, rustic gears, and so I can choose. I also found some more stars and buttons and such we can use to make it. So I'm just going to, I think I need um, a bit of uh, shipboard underneath my photo or the frame. So gluing that like this. And then I I'll have the option of decorating. I think I'm gonna use the gear here and then I have to I have to cut this a bit like that and I'm going to add this gear rustic gears on this side Then I can add this cute washer on top. Like 
like that. Ooh, how cool is that? And I have a little that this knob comes in the same kit as the other one. These are just so cool. So adding one of those on top. If it won't, if it's just let go, so my finger. Like this. Now, how cool is that? Okay. And we also have to have flowers. Every every project has to have flowers. So using some of these. Okay. I need to put glue on this side to get it to stick. And maybe I, I wish I had some other one. I wish I had some blue one. And I have that. Just give me a second. I'll find some blue ones. Maybe like this one. It's perfect. Which also is a prima flower. Oh, I forget. I need to glue it on the side. And tuck it in here. Oh, that is pretty. So, see? Some flowers. And we need some more, of course, more flowers. Going to glue some underneath here. Hopefully it will stay. It's a bit difficult since you have to uh, glue on in the front and in the back, so you have to be a bit smart about it. And we, I think this, I need this one, but I think it's going to have to be here. So gluing in front and tucking it in like that. Like that. Let me just see. So I'll get the whole thing in. Yeah, I think we're good. Like that. And you can add some little ones. These are white with a, a, a little tinted purple inside. Adding those. I think I have to have something backing it up. So maybe I have to use a flower. Not, not to you can use a flower. You can use whatever. But just to push it. So it will stay where it's going to stay. like that I want to add some more flowers oh I love flowers Okay, and uh, 
Uh, I'm going to add another star. Oh, it shifted like that. And I glued a flower. You can see I glued a flower here. I'm going to do the same with this. Like that. And then maybe we'll have some more of these stars. These stars are so cool. Like that, and maybe adding that flower like that. And I have, I have a cool button. Do we have room for it? Oh, it would be nice, maybe here, or maybe I should put it here. I think maybe there. Hopefully it will stay. Okay, and do I have some more? Yes, I have this also. I think this also comes in that knob thing. It's It looks like a, the top of a screw. Like that. So, do we need anything else? Maybe some of these little ones. Okay, let me see. Where did I have to put two there and one there? And some in front. Hmm, maybe it's enough. Maybe we're done. You never know. But it's always, always room for more flowers. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this one here. And then... I'm going to uh, dry brush this with the gesso and the... and use the... Um, the Viva Decor on top. Let me just clear so you can see. Hey. See, this is kind of cool. We could add flowers on top here, though. Or maybe some bling. Yep. Okay, then I'll use the gesso again and dry brush this. Using the gesso to dry brush. It just gives the flowers a little bit more life and you see the details. See all the details more. I have to be careful with this so it just doesn't break glue hasn't really set yet so I'll have to be a bit careful with everything like that a little bit to the bird and the star Like that. So then add 
a bit of the Viva Decor cream on top. Just gives it a bit of shine. Make sure the top one like that. And some hair to the bird. Okay, I'm thinking we are done and on time. Three minutes to spare. Oh my, ain't I the clever one. So here it is, our finished project. And I hope they will like it. <laughs> I hope so. So here they are. This one's the one I created first. And uh, here's the second one, the one we made today. So hopefully they will like it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around now and talk a bit to you before we... Okay. Ooh, do you see me? Yes. So thank you so much for coming out today. I'm just going to, uh, next next Monday, uh, Karen will be on. I do not know what she's creating, but I'm uh, pretty sure it's going to be spectacular. Uh, thank you so much, Heather, for moderating. And uh, Heather will be creating something. Uh, will be doing a show for us in the later, later in January. So that's something to, well, that's going to be exciting to have her do a guest show for us. And like I said, Karen's going to be on next Monday. So it's the same time, same channel. So please come on back and see her show. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm holding it up. Maybe it's easier to see it now. This is what we made today. So thank you so much for coming and uh, have a lovely Monday. Bye-bye.